blocks. You're not going to need two blocks, actually. If you have blocks and or two books you can use, uh, you can grab those. And if you want to grab a belt, you can grab one of your kids' jujitsu belts or karate belts or just a belt that holds up your pants. Just something to have. And grab that. And then sit down. We're going to start off with some simple meditation. And if your hips are tight, you can sit on your block. And start breathing nice and deep into the belly. So keep the eyes closed, but breathe in and out through the nose. And just observe your breathing over the next probably five minutes. I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm going to give us some science on how yoga relates with science, where they merge. But keep the eyes closed and breathe deep. And I'm going to give you some cues to latch on to. So I got a new device. I've been very interested in these biometric devices where they measure your your how your body is physi physio physiologically responding to meditation and or exercise. So I got one of them, it's called Muse, M-U-S-E, Muse. And it's an EEG, basically, but for meditation. And it works with similar concepts of biofeedback. So you have this sensor hooked up to your head and then what's happening is you start to hear rain and as you learn to calm the signals in your brain and relax yourself the rain gets lighter and eventually goes away and potentially birds come out and start chirping but if you go the other way and you're thinking and you're active and you're moving then it's like the storm gets louder the rain gets louder, wind, and yet you realize you're going down the wrong path. So it, there, there, that's why it's called biofeedback. Inhale very deep into the belly. And exhale out. Try and get completely empty. Inhale. And then stretch that inhale just a little bit beyond what you can do and then exhale. few more like this. So they make it into kind of a game of how you can calm the signals in your brain. Calm the electrical activity in your brain. It's pretty amazing. And what I found is a cue that I'm going to give you right now that helps me when the, when the storm gets loud to bring it quiet again, which is, and you've heard me say it a few times if you've taken my class, which is, relax your eyes. Then relax your eyebrows. Now relax your ears. Now that's an interesting cue. Because we don't think of ourselves as um, holding tension in our ears. But when you use the mind to relax the area, the jaw also loosens.
three more breaths. Come off the block. Now, we're just going to walk the hands forward right from here. So I'm cross-legged, and I start to walk my hands out. And there'll be a point where my hip wants to lift up off the floor. That's okay. Let it come off. Now, from here, walk the hands over to the right and seek out a stretch through the side body. Keep crawling the left hand over towards the right. So I'm, I'm doing it like, a, like I'm just inching my hand over until I can get my palm over my palm. Now bring the right hand behind you. Let the left hand slide back to the knee and take a twist. Release that. Now put the other leg in front. So I have my right leg in front. Now I'm going to put my left leg in front. Let the hands come out. So you get this stretch in the hip. You know, like I'll feel uh, through my right hip, I feel a little bit of a stretch. Now I start to crawl my hands over towards the left, both hands. And then when I feel the stretch in my side body, my rib cage, I hang out there for a moment and breathe. And start to move just the right hand. And maybe you stop and breathe. Now put the right hand on top of the left. Let the neck relax. Don't hold tension in the neck. Now bring the left hand back behind you, right hand slides back to the knee, left knee, inhale, lift up, and exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come up off of that. And then grab a hold of your strap. If you have one, you don't need one. But send the legs forward. And just feel for a stretch in the hamstring here. Inhale, I lift up. And on the exhale, I pull myself in a little deeper. Stay with the breath. Big breath into the belly. Exhale out. Come forward a little bit more. Inhale. Come up. Bring the left leg in. Leave the right leg out. Hold the strap with the right hand. Turn it palm up. Now, I'm going to use my right hand on the inside of my leg here to create some leverage to open up my body. So I turn my torso this way, so it's almost like I'm twisting. And the left arm lifts straight up, like I'm asking a question. 
but the right arm is on the inside of my leg here, and I'm using that as leverage to open up and twist towards the ceiling. Now relax your eyes. Remember that cue from the meditation in the beginning. Relax the jaw. Now reach left arm over left ear so you feel side body opening. So the rib cage, there's muscles in between your rib cage. Feel them expanding. On the exhale, have the hands grab the strap, one in each hand, and fold over so you feel the hamstring. So it's difficult to take that, that feedback from that machine and put it into regular life right now. But the idea is that as you get better at it, you catch that tension. And then just like maybe you did when you were in the pose and I told you to relax your eyes and relax your jaw, it was like I did it to my own self through my own practice. So start to experiment with that. You, when, you get, when you're getting stressed and you know you're there, try and relax the eyes. Try and relax the jaw. Inhale, release that. Change the legs. So now the left leg is out, right leg is curled in. Put the strap into the left hand, roll it palm up and bring the elbow, if you can, on the inside of the knee. Now I'm using this as leverage to open my torso up. I'm actually twisting towards the open space, and then my right arm lifts. Soften the eyes. Now reach right arm over the right ear, open up side body, and let the neck relax to the shoulder. Let the eyes relax. And the jaw too. On the exhale, square up, put the strap in each hand, and then fold forward, hamstring. Now there's nothing in the traditional yogic texts that say that we're supposed to relax our eyes or relax the jaw. I've never come across anything where it says that. I, I think the yogis though, they, they dedicated much more of their life than we do to the pursuit of yoga. Inhale, lift up. One more time, send both legs straight out. Grab a hold of the strap, lift up, and fold forward. So in, in that way, this may be something that if we spent hours a day meditating, we might come to on our own way. I equate it to um, with the merdunga, which is the drum that I like to play. I if somebody gives me a drum and I could just kind of play on my own um, and try and learn it by myself through just trial and error, it would take me a really long time. But when I have teachers who are going to guide me and go, no, this is the practice and this is what you do first, and they give you a step-by-step -step system to follow, you, your progression goes way quicker. You'd see it in jujitsu if you just told somebody, yeah, just roll around. Eventually they'd get some kind of mat sense, but you need some structure to learn from. So 
this this device is giving me that feedback so I'm part of the loop right I can know what works very quickly inhale come up and then bring the hands behind you feet flat to the floor and just lift up into a tabletop and feel the chest open here the front of the body, if your cervical spine is in good health and you feel like you want to, let the neck relax. Three more breaths here. Engage the glutes. Lift a little higher. On the exhale, come down. Send the legs out and just fold forward. We're going to do that again. Feet flat to the floor. Lift up. Engage the breathing nice and deep. Try and lift up the chest a little higher and push the hands down into the mat a little more. On the exhale, come down. Take that forward fold again. One more time. Feet flat to the floor. Lift up. The more I push my hands into the floor, the more I feel an opening through my chest. Three more breaths here. On the exhale, come down. Take your forward fold again. Step up and come to a nice wide, wide stance. And if you have the blocks, they might be fun to put on either side so you have access to them on either side. Inhale, lift the arms up. And on the exhale, I'm going to want you to contract like you're grabbing a bar. And you're going to contract down, pulling down like this. And it's going to go like if you had the bar and it went behind your head. So I inhale, lift. On the exhale, squeeze. So I'm really pulling down, using my back muscles, drawing my shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, draw down. Squeeze the back towards the shoulder blades towards one another. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Good. Now let the hands come down. Now, I'm going to turn this way so you can see what I'm doing. So, my arms are going to go out to the side. I'm going to reach them back, and the palms are going to face one another. Now, turn in towards the body. So I turn the wrists in, and then I show my hands to the front. And then exhale out and squeeze into like claws with your hand. Inhale, lift up. Bring them back. Bring the shoulder blades towards one another. Bring the hands in towards the midline. And then 
Show the hands really wide. Squeeze out. Inhale, lift the arms up. Bring them back. Shoulder blades try and touch. Palms are facing. Then turn the hands in. Show the hands. Squeeze out. Three more. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Have the palms face one another. Turn in. Show the hands. Squeeze. Inhale, lift up. Back. Rotate all the way around. Palms are facing one another. Turn in. Show the hands. Squeeze. One more. Inhale. Back. Show the hands. Squeeze. Good. Now come back to our bar. Lift up, grab a hold of the bar. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, up. Exhale, squeeze down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, three more. Good. Now fold over the legs, let the neck relax. Let the eyes be soft. Let the jaw be loose. You can actually kind of glide your lips back and forth to make sure the lip is, the, the jaw is relaxed. Inhale, lift up. Now turn the right toes out and sink down into your warrior two. Come down into the right leg, a little more. Breathe deep and relax. So now we're getting a little stressed. Now try and relax the eyes. Relax the jaw. Inhale, lift up, high prayer, so hands are coming to the center in here, and now I bend down and I squeeze my bar. Inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze the bar. Inhale, exhale, two more. Good. Now, turn the left toes out. Come down into your warrior two. So as the body starts to get stressed, relax the eyes in your head. Right? Your eyes are a part of your head. Relax the whole orbital area. Inhale, lift the arm up. High prayer, turn the toes. Exhale, come down, grab onto your bar three times. Good. Turn the right toes out. Come to warrior two. Now stay in the bend of the right leg. 
inhale, reach back and reverse your warrior. Open up the ribcage, just like you did in the beginning of class. Open the ribcage up. On the exhale, come back to your warrior two. Inhale, high prayer, lift the arms up. On the exhale, three. Good, now turn the left toes out. Warrior two. Relax the eyes. See, we need some kind of feedback. So we're giving ourselves the feedback by making our, cell, our body stress a little bit. Inhale, stay in the bed. Reach back, reverse the warrior, open up the side body. Come back to your warrior two. Inhale, lift. Three. Warrior two with the right leg bent. Inhale, reverse your warrior, open up the rib cage. On the exhale, the right hand is going to come down to the floor, the block, or I'm going to put my right forearm on the right thigh. Left arm goes over the left ear. If you can see, there's a strong line of energy through my left middle finger and the back of my left foot. Now relax the ear to the shoulder. Inhale, come back up. Grab a hold of the bar. Three. Now turn the left toes out. Warrior two. Inhale, reach back, reverse. Bring the left forearm to the left thigh. Right arm goes over the right ear. Side body stretch, the right side. Inhale, come back to the center. Last one, three. Good. Fold over your legs. Let the neck relax. Inhale, have a seat on your mat. Come to a cross-legged position. Sit up tall. Now walk the right hand out straight from the hip. And then I, I'm going to roll the forearm down towards the mat, but I draw my elbow into the midline and reach left arm over left ear. 
there's two actions happening. My right palm is actually pushing me to my left a little bit, so my left sit bone, my ischial tuberosity, stays plugged into the floor. And breathe deep. Think of that side body opening, trying to roll your torso up to the ceiling a little bit. Turn the left palm down and bring it just below the height of the shoulder. And you'll feel a stretch through the neck here. Inhale, lift up. Now let's do the other side. So the left palm walks out right from the hip. And I don't put the forearm on the floor. When I put my forearm on the floor, I tend to lift up my tush on the right side. So here, I roll the elbow towards the midline, right arm over right ear, but I push with my hand so I plug my right ischial tuberosity sit bone into the floor. Think of rolling torso up to the ceiling. Now turn the right palm down, go just below the height of the shoulder. Take the tension out of your face. Inhale, lift up. Crawl the hands straight up. Let me just get into the hips a little bit. If your hips come off the floor, that's okay. Walk the hands over to the left. Get into that side body again. Put the left palm on the right. Right palm goes behind you, left hand to the right knee. Twist. Inhale, release. Put the other foot in front. Walk the hands out right into the hips. Walk the hands over to the left. Look for that side body connection. And then put the right palm over the left, if you can. Bring the left hand behind you, right hand to the left knee, twist. Come back to center. Let's come on to our backs and take any last pose you like. That might just be Shavasana. So in Shavasana, I want you to explore 
every time the mind starts to drift, because the mind drifts sometimes in Shavasana, my mind just doesn't shut off. Um, I mean, on a good day, sometimes you dive deep real quick, but that's not every day. So sometimes my Shavasanas are filled with thoughts for a good few minutes. It's normal. Focus on relaxing the eyes and relaxing the jaw and the ears. When those thoughts come in, and just experiment and see how you can, how it resonates with your body, the level of stress. Start to move the hand and the feet. Just coming back to the body. your side. Take a few breaths there. When you're ready, inhale, come up. 
to the top. So if you are on YouTube, please hit subscribe. Uh, if you are in a position to donate, please donate. It really is helpful, especially during this time. It keeps us going and ready to rock and roll once uh, this whole situation is over. Um, uh, for now, what I'm doing also, I'm a licensed acupuncturist and a Chinese herbologist. Um, so uh, I'm doing phone consultations. So if anybody is interested in having an herbal consult, uh, herbal consult to boost, boost your immune systems, I can ship you the herbs, and uh, it's a very thorough, thorough conversation that we have. So um, you know through the ancient art of Chinese herbalism. So uh, hope to see you again soon, and.